Hello and welcome to the Building Show of Tips and Tricks DIY Like a Pro. Today we are going to be drilling into a wall. Now that's a job that you need a few tools for. Very simple, you need a drill. It can be a cordless, it can be electric. You need a drill bit, a plug and a screw. So what we've got here is we have a hammer, we've got a 7mm brown plug and a 6mm red plug, a 2 inch 10 screw, the metric equivalent is a 50mm 5, a pencil and a bit of tape. Now the tape is a bit of a trick so I'll show you in a second. So let's have a look at this. So this is our drill bit here. We're going to put this into our cordless drill now. We are on hammer setting, whack it onto hammer setting. Right, and put it onto two, one and two. So one is for screwing, two is for drilling. Now let's say, let's mark our hole. Here's our hole, here's where we want to drill. Couple of considerations. First thing is to do is to check that there are no electrics around. Now, how do you do that without knowing? What you do is there are certain codes of practice that electricians have to adhere to, and plumbers as well. If you see sockets on the wall or light switches, electricians have to run cables perpendicular or vertical to these. So they can't come at a diagonal angle. Also in corners, they are allowed to run cables within six inches of the corner. So they're your no-go zones. Next thing to do, now you'll get used to this, but this is just a bit of a tip really. Have a look at the, the screw and the length of this. Now this is just done for effect, but how deep do you know how to drill? So the best thing to do is to take your screw like this, mark just a bit longer, and then wrap a bit of tape around it. And that's your marking gauge. There we go. Okay, now, when it comes to drilling, now, I am using a 7mm drill bit, and that corresponds to a 7mm plug. Now, were I to use the red plug, which is really common, that would correspond to a 6mm drill bit. So this is all online, and I'll put the details in the description below, um, but the key is having the right drill bit for the right plug. So, as I said, we're using a 7mm plug with a 7mm drill bit and a 2 inch screw. And so we only want to drill in just a little more than 2 inches, save going into the cavity and losing everything. Why have I got this here? Okay, you do not want to be drilling that angle, that angle, you want to be drilling square to the wall. And you don't want to be drilling at an angle there or an angle there. You want to be drilling square like this. So here we go. Nice and slowly. That was a tough wall. So, take our plug, push it in. See, that fits perfectly. Now, the next thing to do, this is where you'll need your hammer. Take your hammer, just twist the screw in a tiny bit like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna knock the plug in so that it's not flush with the wall. Just tap. What you'll find is you'll tap it a little bit, but the screw goes into the plug, which forces the plug to expand as it should, and so it'll stop, but it's tight now. So, once you've done that, let's remove this. Let's go back onto screw, back onto number one for screwing. Put our screw bit in, and then we are going to go very slowly. Apply the pressure until we are about five mil, just under a quarter of an inch away from the wall. Now, what weight do you think that would hold? 
Would that hold a big picture? Well, hang on a second. Okay, just for the hell of it, my toolbox, which gives me my bad back, probably weighs about 20 kilos. And your average picture probably weighs two or three pounds. So let's see how we go. If I can get it on there, this. There you go, that's a massive toolbox, securely hung on a two inch screw in a wall using a seven mil plug.